I was telling Shannon, you didn't even want to come here. I mean, guys, if you guys are seeing that, all those swirls right there, that's crappie. And that's a crappie. Hey, how's it going there, fishing fans? Thanks for tuning in to another awesome episode of Fishing with Mario. Uh, so this time I want to do things just a little bit different. I want to kind of count out how many fish I was able to catch in 58 minutes. So um, my buddy, he went out to this spot and kind of scouted it out for us before we got there. By the time my wife and I got there, they, him and his wife had already limited out. So my wife and I didn't keep any. So my buddies went out here, they already scouted it out, and there was a channel that basically all these crappie were completely stacked in. Unfortunately, my camera died. I caught much more fish after this 58 minutes, but uh, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a glimpse of what happens when you catch just the right timing with crappie. Because when you get that right timing, by golly, um, it is some some non-stop action. Oh, fish on. Second cast, not too bad. Look like a crappie, certainly is. Second cast, you guys. All right, let's get a hold of them here. All right, you guys. Hope y'all can see him there. Not too bad, buddy. Come on, get on out of here. Not bad, you guys. So this is pink and chartreuse, the black and chartreuse uh, skirt. Uh, I was trying that. It's new from Crappie Bagnet. That's a slab curly. Fish on. That's a better one. And he had more fight than his size said he was gonna have. That's for sure. Okay, there you guys go. Another nice little crappie. Go on back, buddy. There he goes. He's caught more than enough. Oh, there's a nice tug and fish on. Did you guys see that little bump? Nothing like that thump. Oh, nice little black crappie here. Okay. What you think? 11? 12? Yeah. Decent little 11 -er. All right, buddy, get out of here. Oh. They just must be stacked in this area. There we go, baby. And they are out here just feeding like crazy. Oh, there's a thump. Oh, and that's a good one. That is a good one. Oh, he thumped it. That was nice. Look at him pull. Nice. Huh? He just smashed it, man. He just blared it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the Crappie Chronicles, that's what I'm making fun of. It's a great, great uh, YouTube show. And uh, it was super awesome to see them pull all those big ones out of the ice. But. Every time they caught something, it was a big He just came up and smacked it. Man, I don't know. That's It's not that big. Well, maybe about 10, 12, 10, 11. Nice fat load. Look at him. Good, fat, healthy fish. All right. Just double. Beautiful, baby. Yeah. Fish on. There he is. About that little thump. Ain't nothing like the little bump. Look at him fight. All the head shakes. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, he don't want to settle down. All right, there he goes. Barely had him hooked. Just a little guy. Man, they got a bunch of sores on him. Another 
Hmm. Let me know what that is down in the comments, you guys. I'll try to show more of those, but uh, I'm seeing small, like, red spots or swells on them. Ooh, hey, nice. There he is. Yeah, I got an eighth, an eighth ounce jig. I normally have a sixteenth, but. All right. Oh, look at that tug. Yeah, he's fighting. I got him hooked pretty good. They're all pretty small. Ooh, buddy. All right, you see that little red spot, you guys? I don't know. Um, I'm not seeing any other spots on them, but uh, that, there's a little spots I'm starting to notice on these guys. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you uh, what that is, and should I be alarmed? Fish on. Nice. I did a little bump on that. Immediately had a fish on there. That was perfect. This guy might be number 10 already. I just keep throwing him back though. You guys got plenty. <laughs> All right, you guys. Here's another one. All right. Get on out of here, buddy. There you are. Yeah, we had pulled in over there by the campers and stuff last night. They were there last night. Let's go down a little bit further. Nice. That's a better fish. There you go. All right, let's see here. Eleven, maybe. I uh, had slime from the catfish, and I rubbed it on my waders. Mm -hmm. And I had look, I was over here, and I had fish. Oh shoot! Hitting on the slime. Nice. First cast in this area. This makes me want to get my double jig rig going. See if I can get two on one line. Oh, that had it right away. A couple little head shakes there. He's way out there. Way, way out there. Snapped it on the drop. Yeah, he wanted that. Mm -hmm. Tell you, I'm liking that pink chartreuse out here. See all these little spots? What's up with that? I think that's from being stacked so much. Think so? Yeah, I think they're attacking each other. There he is. few of them home at least damn quick release there he is right there you see him yeah. you don't want it no more <laughs> last night there he is again there's another one like damn they're in our spot blah 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 all right you guys we're just ripping into them i probably am gonna edit very little out because this is literally cast after cast out here you guys <laughs> crazy crazy stack there's another one right there that's four casts four fish always working and hardly ever to get out so that's a good one that gotta be 12 probably a 12 right there here you guys go all right let's let them back over there you know, I've never had fish be so docile on my hands like that before either, you know? <laughs> the hell? I'm telling you, people overlook, especially beginners, they overlook jig fishing. It's an amazing tool in your repertoire, it really is. I mean, geez, dude. Before we, we were really just bottom fishing, and then we got into a little lure fishing. But then we found jigs, man, and... <laughs> Crazy for the last few years on Jigs, dude. 
and then say it. It's crazy. Yep. I'll start walking back as I just cast. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fish. And he's coming right at me. There's another one of them sores. Oops, I made him do kind of a backflip. Sorry, buddy. Look, I gotta land it right on that carp. Ah, oh, <laughs> a little too far. Fish on. Oh, come on, buddy. Ah. Yeah, you get them with these things, they stack. Then we out 40 of them out of this little hole here. Dang, look at that. That's another 12er. And you're constantly Still, like, bro, look, she's just pulling in another one, too. Mm -hmm. Insane. Insane action out here. Oh, is that, is that bunch right there crappie or carp? That's hitting the top of the water right there? I hope you guys can see that. I mean, there's just so many crappie stacked in this area that they're literally just tearing up the top. Look at that. My wife's just dragging her jig right through them. Right through them all. <laughs> right through the thick of it. I just felt me run across all of them. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> double. Double, baby, double. Oh, and he dropped it again. Look at these guys. They're escape artists. Fish on. I scared them all right there. Well, oh, thanks, buddy. All right. He's like, well, you put a hole in me, so I'll get you a little wet. Guys, go. All right. Some hit way out there. Woo, he choked it. Yeah, that's what I needed the stink of fish. All over my face. That was perfect. Oh, there he goes. No? Yeah. He popped off. That's all right. I got it. Yeah, popped off and got another one come back for it. The other one said, Oh, what's this? <laughs> Ooh. Hey, this guy's not so calm, is he? <laughs> Gosh, I didn't even know he was there. I wonder what that's going to look like on camera. Yeah, that cat looks like a blue cat. There's blue in here. There's blue cat in here. Dude, that's awesome. Little guy. No, no, not quite that little, is he? Now that was a good hook set. That's right on the top of the mouth. It was never gonna come out of him there. All right, I got you, bro. Just a little guy. Get on out of here, buddy. Out the population to make that happen. Right away. There's a good one. That's a better one. 
Oh. Ah, there you guys go. Gosh. That's tall shiny. You didn't even want to come here. I mean, guys, if you guys are seeing that, all those swirls right there, that's crappie. And that's a crappie. That's a good crappie. This is just insane. Insane. I don't know. I'm almost tempted to start keeping them. Just so I could just fish for fun tomorrow. <laughs> oh, see all the sores there? This guy's got a few. One, two, three of them. Wow, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I mean, that was so much fun catching that many fish. Honestly, that's got to be a personal best for me. I averaged it out as 21 fish in 58 minutes. That was about every two and three quarter minutes. So two minutes, 45 seconds, we had a fish on, on the line uh, on average. So I don't know. That was pretty good for us. I'm sure uh, maybe in other places like Oklahoma or Texas might experience those types of uh, catches on a regular basis. But for me, in Colorado, I've never caught that many fish so fast. And let me tell you, the way they were rippling, it just got crazier and crazier as the night went on. Unfortunately, like I said, the battery had died, so I didn't catch as much as I had hoped I would have. Um, but next time I will be better prepared. All right. So we did try the very next day to catch some more fish. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out. I mean, there didn't seem to be any fish around there. Um, we even tried on the other side of that channel. We waited in there. It did yield me out like the biggest darn, uh, shad I believe I've ever seen. I think it was like a 15 inch shad, huge shad. I also caught a couple of crappie, two crappie, but they had the sores. I was being a little leery of it. Once again, if you guys know what that is, please comment below. Let me know what that is. And uh, that way I can either alert the property or authorities or I could just uh, cut it out. Not a big deal. Maybe they are attacking each other, like my buddy said. I did land a 27 inch carp on the double jig rig. Um, I think the back of the squirrely tail looked like a blade of grass working through the water and a big old carp came up and ate it. it took me about 30 40 minutes to pull him in and that was that was a fun fight. So keep in mind guys this happened around early May late April of 2021. So um you know conditions right now aren't conducive with that but as the weather warms up and stuff just keep in mind you could be out there scouting um spread out have your buddies check out one space you check out another because these lakes will warm up differently so this is the last of the footage that i had from last year sorry i didn't produce it sooner once again i got caught up and i got a surprise for you guys coming but until then god bless and keep fishing